Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So this video is in continuation to the playlist of LinkQ queries. If you haven't yet watched the previous three videos in which we have explained all the type of queries and uh, to grasp a command over the basics, you first watch the three videos before you go on watching the part four. So in this video, we're going to cover a few of more LinkQ queries. So the first one is off type. So off type basically helps that if you want to, you know, extract a certain data type from a list of various data type, you can use this. Suppose you have a list comprising of integer, string, double, and you want to extract only the type which is string or only the values which are in type integer. So this is just to extract the dummy data. Like if you have a lot of data and you know, the user has just dumped a lot of data. Some are useful and some are not. And you have a segregation that all of the integers you will have to use and the string you have to discard. So you can use this one to do that. So let's create a array of, you know, having various types. So let's create list example. And then in that we'll add both integer and string. So we'll add one, we'll add two, we'll add four, and then we'll again add a string. And you cannot store it in an array of string or array of integer because it's of various type. So you, you can store it in array of objects because object is the base class of all data types. So you can store them in array of objects. Okay, now let's see that how do we do that? How can we, you know, extract a certain data type so as we've seen previously that how do we write this for each query in a single line this whole for each loop so we'll write from s s will act as a variable that is going to iterate over all the indexes and we'll mention our list and from that list we want only the elements of type suppose i write in string and you see you have to mention of t results so i'm also going to mention of string and we click on ok and we'll have to you know substitute assign it so i'll write result of list and as i've shown you previously how can you you know get to know that what would be the data type of res list so we'll just hover over it and it it says option stripped on disallows implicit conversion from system.collections.generic.iinumerable of string to string. That means res list is of type string and you would want, what you have to do is to change its data type from string to collections of string. So we'll just do it. So this is the way how you debug it. So it's there system. And if you don't get it, you have to go for browse, browsing, and then you have to type system. Because I've already used it, so it is showing in my variable pane. Maybe it won't show in yours. So you can just simply search, go to system.collections.generic. So you have systems.collection.generic. And from here, you can have anything, string or whatever type you want to. So uh, I'll just show what, so you will have to select system.collections.generic.inumber and from here you can select string if you want the collection to be of string type. You can select integer if you want it to be of type integer. You just have to scroll up, here you get the integer and like that. So I want it of string, so I'll select string and then okay. So I got it over here. Let's see if we still have the error. No, we don't have the error. So let's, you know, see it in the debug mode in the local Spain. What is the answer? So we have selected that we want only values which are of type string. So let's see. So first we'll see from this example that this is our input list. We had one, two, four and four. So what are the string out of these? It's two and four. So now we will see in results list, what is the value? So it's two and four. Similarly, if you want it, want it to be of type integer, you can just, you know, replace string with integer and you have it there. 
and like that if you want it to be of date type or you want to extract any particular type you can just do it you'll just have to type in integer here and it's done and now because you have taken it as string you will have to take it as integer because now the integer value would be extracted and it can be saved in an integer collection only and let's run it in debug mode to see what's the value and then you can use this list in your process so now if we go to result list we see that one and four has been extracted so this is how you use of type in your Enqueue queries. There's no need of writing a for loop and then dragging an if and then checking whether it's of type integer or it's of type integer or it's of type string and then assigning it into another list. You can just do it in a single line of code. Now, let's see how to extract, you know, how to extract the distinct variable out of it. So I'll just, you know, make use of this result list only. I add in one, two, two, then I'll again add in two, four and five. So what are the distinct values? I'll again add three. So it's one, two, three, four and five. It shouldn't be repeated. So if I go in this, so now I've stored it in. We will iterate it the same way that from S in I'll write the list in which I have assigned the value. I'll have to select S. So now it will, you know, give me all the values, even the repeated ones. But if I write distinct, now let's see what's the output. So you cannot, you know, store it in the same list. You can, but you shouldn't. So let's make, okay. Now if I set it to the same object, array of objects, which I've just created, let's see if we get any error of, you know, conversion of data type, we get it. So we see that it is expecting system.collections.generic i enumerable of integer. So we'll change the data type to integer and we'll click on save and see our error is gone and we'll just run it oh there is an error let's see what it is okay okay so we have set in default value and that too it is an integer collections and we have saved in string in it so that's not possible if we would have saved integer in it, then it would have worked. And we'll see in the debug panel, what is the value in list example. So it should just show the unique values, not all the values. So we saw that it's seven values. And now let's see out of seven values, how much have we got? So if we have just got five because two and three were repeated. So this way is how you can use the distinct query from which you can extract the unique values and then you can use it in your process there are a lot of times when you have to do it even in a lot of project of mine i had to do this so this is also one of the very important queries we'll cover more the merging and concatenating of the list and data table or the columns of the data table in the next video till then stay tuned happy learning and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates thank you for watching